Hello and welcome back to today's episode. My name is Jeff, uh, aka Doofy, and today we are reacting to how to grow a bone. Ninner Tanden. Don't know what that means, but I think that's a name, maybe. I don't know, but yeah, welcome back, guys. Welcome back to Doofy Night. It's your boy Doofy, yeah. And uh, we're gonna watch bones grow. Uh, I know a bone that grows almost daily. Um, so yeah, let's get right into the boners. <laughs> Boner. Ted Ed. Lessons worth sharing. Can Epic. you grow a human bone outside the human body? No. The answer may soon be yes. But before we can understand how that's possible, we need to look at how bones grow naturally inside the body. Mm -hmm. Most bones start in a growing fetus as Wait. a soft... Did she just say that you might be able to grow bones outside the body? This was what? Six years ago. Bitch, why haven't they grew any bones yet then? Soft, flexible cartilage. Bone forming cells replace the cartilage with a spongy mineral lattice made Ooh. of elements like calcium and phosphate. This lattice gets harder as osteoblasts, which are specialized bone forming cells, specialized more boners, mineral, giving bones their strength. While the lattice itself is not made of living cells, mm. networks of blood vessels, nerves, and other living mm. tissues grow through special channels and passages. Mm. And over the course of development, a legion of osteoblasts reinforce mm. the skeleton that protects our organs. You fit his big fat penis in this bit here. Is that where the penis is? All right, so understood. Allows us to move, produces blood cells, and more. Wow. But this initial <laughs> building process alone is not enough to make bones strong and functional. If you took a bone built like this video, if you have never broke a bone in your life, this way, attached I like muscles it. to it, and tried to use it Ew. to lift a heavy weight, the bone would probably snap under the strain. Okay. This doesn't usually happen to us because our cells are constantly reinforcing and building bone wherever they're used. Okay. A principle we refer to as That's why I'm so freaking strong. That's why I'm However, so strong. Bone materials are a limited resource, and this new <gasps> reinforcing bone... We're losing bone materials! Oh, no! <laughs> Fortunately, osteoblasts, the builders, have a counterpart called osteoclasts, the Ew. recyclers. Osteoclasts break down the unneeded mineral lattice <clears throat> using acids and enzymes, so that osteoblasts can then add more material. One of the main reasons astronauts must exercise constantly in orbit is due to the lack of skeletal strain in freefall. As projected okay. by Wolf's Law, that makes osteoclasts more active than osteoblasts, resulting in a loss of bone mass. I don't know what the frick that is. When bones do break, your body has an amazing ability to reconstruct the injured bone Indeed, as if they the do. break had that never happened. Certain situations, about that. like cancer removal, Traumatic accidents and genetic defects exceed the body's natural ability for repair. Historical solutions have included filling in the resulting holes with metal, animal bones, or pieces of bone from human donors. But none of these are optimal, as they can cause infections or be rejected by the immune system, and they can't carry out most or of the Or they functions. can cause you progressive long-term issues if you break a bone and stick a piece of metal in and possibly you might not be able to get through airport security of healthy bones an ideal solution would be to grow a bone made from the patient's yeah. own cells that's customized good idea. to the exact shape exactly of the bone. good and idea that's exactly what scientists are currently trying to do well they're taking the piss it's been six Here's years how it works. why don't they cure cancer first, first? doctors extract Stem cells Before from going a patient's on to fat tissue and take CT scans to determine the exact dimensions of the missing bone. Mm -hmm. They then model the exact shape of the hole, either with 3D printers Sorry, my dog just farted. or by carving decellularized cow bones. Those are the bones where all of the cells have been stripped Boner. Out, leaving only the sponge-like mineral lattice. They then add the patient's stem cells to this lattice. Okay, so they add the patient's eyeballs to the slutus. Place it in a bioreactor, mm. a device that will simulate all of the conditions found inside we'll the body. Will simulate the boners. Temperature, humidity, acidity, and nutrient composition all need to be just right for the stem cells to differentiate into mm. osteoblasts and other cells, colonize the mineral mm. lattice, and remodel it with living tissue. But... 
if you guys would like a new uh, season of episodes, uh, we can call them Science with Doof. From now on, uh, we will put in the description Science with Doof. There's one thing. Uh, I think I can hear my dogs barking. Okay, I think they're dead. Missing. Remember Wolf's Law? An artificial bone needs to experience real stress, or else it will come out weak and brittle. Okay. So the bioreactor constantly pumps fluids around the bone, and the pressure tells the osteoblasts to add bone density. Put all of this together, and within three weeks, the now living bone is ready to come out of the bioreactor and to be implanted into the patient's body. While it isn't yet certain that this method will work for humans, lab-grown bones have already been successfully implanted in pigs and other animals, mm. and human trials may begin as early as 2016. Oh. Really? Well, I haven't heard about anyone getting a boner put inside them, except for my ex. That's why she's pregnant now. Um, anyway, um, that was bone growth. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time, Doofinators. Peace out. It's your boy Doof. Good night. It's, it's been your boy Doof.